Assembly has adopted the supplementary budget estimates that, among others, rejected a payment of 6 billion shillings for the exit of Helios Investment from the shareholding of the Telcom Kenya Limited. The Budget and Appropriation Committee, chaired by Kiharu Member of Parliament Dindi Nyoro, said that the proposed payments were questionable and wants investigations into how the transactions were arrived at. Stephen Leto has more. A heated debate on the floor of the National Assembly Tuesday afternoon. In questions are the financial commitments that had been made to pay 6 billion shillings for the exit of Elio's investment from the shareholding of Telcom Kenya Limited. The Budget and Appropriation Committee rejected the payments. What will shock the country today, Honorable Speaker, is that the payment was processed two days after the elections of the 8th of August. When the rest of the country were counting votes, there are people in the former regime who are counting billions, hitting their accounts here and in the Cayman Islands. The Budget Committee has also rejected the payment of 4 billion shillings for maize flour subsidy. However, Parliament has allocated 15 billion shillings for fertilizer subsidy for farmers. The whole model of thinking that for you to bring the cost of maize down was to subsidize uh, 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 consumption through uh, giving this money to, to millers was ill-informed, was wrong and is a very bad economic practice. Through these supplementary estimates, we have been able to condense our appetite and our physical deficit, Mr. Speaker, our physical deficit, just to repeat, is 5.7% of our GDP. This is much lower than what was there. The lawmakers also approved 2.9 billion shillings for the National Government Constituency Development Funds. However, Azimio MPs poked holes in the supplementary budget, terming it unrealistic. You have not succeeded in reducing the budget with 300 billion as you promised Kenyans. As you remove subsidies, you must provide safety nets to protect the vulnerable Kenyan poor people. When there's more money into the pockets of the people, people will spend more. And as people spend more, Mr. Speaker, the demand increases. With an increment in demand, there will be an increment in supply. In the supplementary budget, the office of the president has been allocated 7.3 billion shillings, which partly will clear the NMS bills. The office of the deputy president got some 850 million shillings, while that of prime cabinet secretary has a spending power of 771 million shillings. They argue that the Jubilee government used to spend money in the office of the president to drink alcohol. I'm surprised that tea and mandazis can cost all this much money. Stephen Leto, Citizen.